Be Useful by Arnold Schwarzenegger. I read this book not having any idea about Arnold Schwarzenegger's personal life or controversies or anything besides the fact that he was born in Austria, he started off in bodybuilding, he transitioned to acting, became a big movie star, and then the governor of California. And that's about it. He alludes to certain relationship issues that he's had uh, in this book, and he says, if you don't know about them, you can Google them. I don't, I didn't Google them. I'm not going to Google them and I don't, I don't really care because I am just kind of curious if you live this big life uh, of fame and movie stardom and governorship, what are your lessons that you've learned? And so he's made it really easy because all the lessons that he's learned, he summarizes in two words that he's made the, his book title, Be Useful. So in the first part of the book, he talks about the importance of having a vision of your future self and to look at yourself in the mirror. Because if, if you look at yourself in the mirror, be sure to make eye contact and really ask yourself the questions, what do I need to be doing? Who's the person I want to become? The idea is that if you look yourself in the eye, it makes you more accountable and slightly uncomfortable, but you're more likely to make the changes. I love a line that he has in here because he talks about when you're confronted with making a decision, does that future vision of yourself become sharper or does it get blurrier? And I think that's a great rule for life because I think a lot of things we do separates us from where we want to be, but we just do them in the moment because it's easier. And so he's saying to really focus on the big picture of things. He takes it a step further and says that the good guys have a picture of themselves in the future and it's the bad guys who don't. Uh, and he does, he does kind of speak from authority given how many action movies he's in where he faces a lot of bad guys. So I kind of defer to him on that point. So the next chapter is build off of that. Never think small, work hard, figure out who you need to impress to get your dream accomplished. Uh, learn from failure, uh, listen to people when they're talking to you, uh, and so on. Uh, there are a lot of good lines in these middle chapters. Uh, that basically amount to own your story and just embrace it uh, through ups and downs, stay focused on what you really want to do. Of course, in the chapter when he's talking about learning from your failure, he says you have to have a mindset of after you fail, you say, I'll be back. So classic Schwarzenegger. I have no idea that in the original Terminator, he wanted to play Kyle. He wanted to play the hero and James Cameron convinced him to take the villain. And so that's one of his examples of it's important to listen to others because they might see something you can't. So fun fact. I thought the last chapter was clever because it's about breaking mirrors. You start off the book looking at yourself in the mirror, focusing on the mirror, and then the last chapter, break the mirrors. Reach outside yourself, help in your community. Uh, and he talks about all the things that he has been doing and that's where he's gotten the most satisfaction in life. Uh, he has some good stories here, and it seems like that's where his heart really is in helping people, and that's assuming you take this book at face value, and I have no reason not to. So how do I rate a book like this? Self-help books are kind of hard because they tend to all sound very similar. I mean, it's, it's good stuff, it's good advice uh, to follow, but it just, after you read so many, it sounds like it, you're just reading the same thing, the same rules over and over again. I like the autobiographical nature of this though, because it has the added value of a personal endorsement. Honestly, I would love to read every book written by someone who has decided to take all their life lessons and distill everything they've learned into seven simple rules to follow. Uh, so I say, the more books like this, the merrier. Four stars. <laughs>